Welcome in the first episode of the World Spy Game Tutorial Series. In this series we will create the World Cross Puzzle Game and we will release it on the mobile device. So let me walk you through the gameplay and show you exactly what we're going to create. So I'm going to press play in the Unity and this is our main menu screen where we can press play or exit. So I'm just going to start the game. And currently we have our food category available, the rest of them are locked and as you see I already solved one puzzle from this category. So let me just start the game again. So the main feature of this game is our, our time, so we have about two minutes to solve all of the puzzles. If we don't, the pop-up game over pop-up screen will be displayed. And we have to find all of the words from this list among these letters. We can move from the left to right, so here is the fork. We can move backward as well. We can move on the diagonal, on any direction, and from the up down. Once we find the word, as you see, we the word is displayed in the green color, and, and we can reuse any of the letters. So let me just find the pasta, and then salad, which is backwards. Once we solve all of the puzzles, all of the all of the words, we have the well done screen. If we press play, we're gonna move to the next puzzles available from the selected category. So as you see, we have some more words to find, and the puzzles getting more difficult over time. And we can of course disable our background music and our sound effect. So the sounds effect are also the sounds when we selecting the, the square. And if we if we will move back to the to the select puzzle screen, as you see, I have solved already two puzzles. Once I solve all of the puzzles from the certain category, the next one will be unlocked. So there will be separate pop-up window to indicate that the new category is available for for the player. So uh, in addition to that, we have some simple animations like you see this padlock is moving from the left to right, and also we have small animation over here where the loop is moving across this uh, across this writing and uh, all of the player data is stored for this game so we can restart the player data from our settings screen so we can we can uh, press the reset game progress and we can change the sound setting as well from here and also we have a button to display the private policy so this is uh, this is our gameplay if you are interested how this game looks on your mobile devices you can get it from the google play store i have recently released it and you can check it out what we exactly what we're gonna make i will put link down below in the description and also you have this link displayed on the screen so go ahead and uh, try out this game uh, okay let's move now to the fun part uh, which is the custom editor so this project will be very interested because we will create a custom editor to display our data and to create the puzzle data so as you see here is my project structure window where I have uh, the data folder, which contain all of the folders from the categories I have in my game. So if I select any of the category, let's say countries, I select the country one puzzle. We ha I have all of the puzzles displayed in exact the same layout as they are displayed in the game. And also I have the list of the searching words. So from here we can specify different number of columns and then rows and then they give the player how much time it have, uh, he has to actually solve the puzzles. So to add new puzzles to the game, I need to simply just right-click in the folder, create board data, I can give it a name, and then I can give the player the time, let's say we're gonna give him like one minute, so this is 60 seconds, and we wanna create a puzzle in size of 10 by 10. So we have the empty board created, we can now add the searching words, let's say tutorial and I can put word here. Okay, once we put the, all of the words, is uh, you can put as many words as you like. We can select two upper, fill with random and the new puzzle is created now. So this is our data, we, I will show you how we can create this custom editor. And uh, this, uh, this knowledge will let you customize your editor in any other project you work on. So it's going to be very interested. And I, I will also show you how you can display the ads, the interstitial ads, the rewarded ads and the banner ads inside your game. So I hope this game will be fun to make. If you like this uh, series and uh, would like to support this channel, please consider subscribe. 
click the subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so you'll be informed about any new episode I release from this from this game. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next episode. Thank you.